Hello friends, in this video we are going to discover the top 10 most beautiful cities in Europe. Europe is well known for its deep history, great architecture, and natural beauty. I'll be honest with you, making this video about the most beautiful cities in Europe was one of the hardest videos I've ever created, just because it was so hard to choose between the countless gorgeous and unique cities. Even a list of Europe's 100 most beautiful cities would be incomplete. From the beauty of the blurred countryside seen through a train window to a moment of stillness amidst cosmopolitan chaos, there are millions of places to witness Europe's beauty. Europe has no shortage of natural beauty, but we'll admit it's the cities that keep us coming back to the continent again and again. In the end, I decided to only list the cities I visited myself so I can assure you from a first-hand experience that they are truly the prettiest cities in Europe. So here goes the list of the best cities in the continent that you need to put on your Europe bucket list right away. Kindly make sure to hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon before we start this video about the 10 most beautiful cities in Europe. Now let's dig deeper into each of the top 10 most beautiful cities in Europe. Number 10. Venice, Italy. Venice is not only one of the most beautiful cities in Europe but it's also one of the most unique places in the world. Known for its hundreds of canals, gondolas, and footbridges, it's no surprise that the city is really popular amongst foreign visitors. The summer is almost unenjoyable due to the millions of tourists so it's better to go in the shoulder seasons or off-season. The St. Mark's Square with the Basilica is so iconic that it has been the inspiration for the Venetian Resort in Las Vegas and for the largest casino in the world, the Venetian Macau. Venice is quite small so it's a totally walkable city although it's easy to get lost in the canals and narrow streets. Spending two days in Venice is the perfect amount of time to visit the best places in the city and enjoy some of the best Italian foods. Taking a gondola ride is one of the best ways to see the city but be prepared to pay big bucks for that, as a 30-minute long gondola ride typically costs around 100 euros, $120 US. If you love photography, you're in for a real treat as you can find countless Instagrammable spots in Venice, such as the Rialto Bridge, the Bridge of Size, or the Scala Contarini del Bovolo. Number 9. London, United Kingdom. London is one of the most iconic and well-known cities in Europe, attracting millions of tourists every year. Home to the British royal family and many historical landmarks, London is definitely a city that needs to be on everyone's Europe bucket list. Seeing the Big Ben in the Houses of Parliament is a must when visiting London, and no London bucket list is complete without admiring the Tower Bridge and taking a ride on the London Eye. Apart from the historical landmarks, there are many unique things to do in London. If you're a Harry Potter fan you definitely need to go for a Warner Bros. studio tour where you can explore the wonders of the wizarding world. You can also visit the Madame Tussauds Wax Museum and the London Dungeon or watch a musical at one of the famous theatres in London. Don't forget to try an authentic English breakfast and fish and chips while you're in the city. Number 8. Dubrovnik, Croatia. Lying on the shores of the Adriatic Sea, Dubrovnik is definitely a city not to be missed. Often referred to as the Pearl of the Adriatic, this charming city has recently become quite famous amongst visitors as it was the main filming location for King's Landing in Game of Thrones. Even if you haven't seen a single episode, you need to put this city on your Europe bucket list right away. The city is quite small so spending three days in Dubrovnik is enough to discover the best places but if you have more time you can easily spend up to one week in the city. Even if you have only one day in Dubrovnik you need to go up to the city walls, the view is just incredible from up there. If you have more time, you can take a ferry ride or a kayak tour to the nearby Lakram Island, Go for a Game of Thrones walking tour, relax at the beautiful beaches or take a day trip to Kotar, Montenegro, or Mostar, Bosnia-Herzegovina. Number 7. Amsterdam, Netherlands. Often referred to as the Venice of the North due to its hundreds of canals, Amsterdam has a truly unique vibe and it's definitely one of the most beautiful cities in Europe. The city is mostly known for the red light district and its world-famous coffee shops, which basically means weed shop in Amsterdam but it has many more things to offer. Amsterdam is home to many great museums like the Rijks Museum or the Van Gogh Museum and if you're interested in Jewish history you can visit the Anne Frank House as well. It's worth scheduling your visit in spring to see the tulip fields in full bloom and enjoy the mild weather. 
Spending two days in Amsterdam is enough to cover the main tourist spots, but if you have more time in the city, rent a bike and take a day trip to the nearby Zonschans windmills as well. Number 6. Prague, Czech Republic. Prague became a very popular hotspot for Han and Stag parties recently due to its laid back vibe, vibrant nightlife, and affordable prices. Don't worry, even if you're not a big party person, there are many other things to do in the city. The historical center of Prague is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and exploring the charming little streets in the old town is a really unique experience. Walking across the charming Charles Bridge is one of the best romantic things to do in Prague and if you're traveling with your significant other, you can also put up a lock on the Lovelock Bridge. Other great things to do in Prague include taking a walking tour in the Jewish Quarter, admiring the unique astronomical clock. In the Old Town Square, visiting the Prague Castle, and trying the delicious Czech cuisine. The Czech Republic is also famous for its world-class beers so if you're a beer lover you can go for a beer tour or visit the Czech Beer Museum as well. If you want to see one of the best Christmas markets in Europe, visiting Prague around the holidays is a great idea. Number 5. Budapest, Hungary. Budapest is definitely one of the most beautiful cities in Europe and trust me, I'm not just saying that because I'm a local. If you're looking for gorgeous architecture, fairy tale castles, world-famous thermal baths, cool ruined bars, and delicious cuisine, and all of that for a reasonable price, you need to put Budapest on your Europe bucket list right away. Spending a weekend in Budapest will give you the chance to visit the most famous Hungarian landmarks such as the Hungarian Parliament, the Buda Castle, and the Fisherman's Bastion, which is undoubtedly one of the most Instagrammable places in Budapest. If you have more time, spending four days in Budapest is even better, as you get to see more sides of the city. Whatever time you choose, taking a walk along the Danube River and seeing the majestic buildings rising on both sides will be an unforgettable memory. If you're visiting Budapest for the first time, try to stay somewhere in or close to the city center, District V67, which is definitely one of the best areas to stay in Budapest for sightseeing. Number 4. Rome, Italy. No Europe trip is really complete without visiting the Italian capital, Rome. It's full of ancient ruins, historical sites, and amazing landmarks and it's undoubtedly one of the most beautiful places in Italy. The Eternal City is also home to one of the new seven wonders of the world, the Colosseum, which makes it a must-see destination on every traveler's bucket list. While you can visit the city all year round, the best time to visit Rome is definitely in the shoulder season when the weather is still mild but the crowds are thinner. Being one of the most interesting and historically important places in Europe, you can easily spend weeks exploring all the beauties Rome has to offer. Even if you only have one day in Rome, you need to explore the Vatican City and admire the St. Peter's Basilica, visit the Pantheon, throw a coin into the Trevi Fountain, and see the inside of the Colosseum. Of course, spending longer in Rome means you get to explore more sites and get a better feeling of the city. If you're a first-timer, it's best to spend at least three days in Rome. To maximize your time, I would recommend staying in Centro Storico, which is one of the best areas to stay in Rome for sightseeing and for finding the best Instagram spots in Rome. If you want to avoid the crowds during the day, join a Rome by night tour which is one of the most unique ways to discover the Italian capital. Oh, and while you're at it, don't forget to try some of the best food in Rome. Pizza, pasta, gelato. Do I need to continue? Number 3. OIA, Santorini. Santorini, officially known as Thera, is part of the Cycladic Island Group on the Aegean Sea, located roughly halfway between Athens and Crete. Santorini is undoubtedly one of the most beautiful islands in Greece, seeing the whitewashed cliffside towns, the deep blue roofs and the endless views of the shimmering sea is a true bucket list experience. Sitting in the northwest corner of the island, the city of OIA is the most famous place in Santorini thanks to its postcard perfect views. If you're visiting Santorini for the first time you should spend at least one night in OIA to be able to witness one of the best sunsets in Santorini and find those classic Santorini Instagram spots. OIA is packed with many amazing hotels, Blue Dome churches, and great local restaurants so there is no shortage of things to do in the city. Number 2. Barcelona, Spain. Nestled between the beautiful mountains and the inviting coastline, Barcelona is definitely one of the most popular cities to visit in Europe. The capital of Catalonia is mostly known for the famous La Sagrada Familia and the many colorful and breathtaking works of Antonio Gaudi across the city. 
Starting from the gorgeous architecture to the most amazing local food, there are just so many things to love about Barcelona. Although you can see almost all the must-see spots in just 24 hours in Barcelona, it's worth spending at least three days in the city to truly experience its unique vibe. Walking through the Las Ramblas and the Gothic Quarter, admiring the unique architecture of the La Sagrada Familia, visiting Casa Batlo and Casa Mila, and seeing the sunset in the Park Güell is a real must when visiting Barcelona. If you have more time in the city, you can go up to Mount Tibadabo where you can spend a fun day in the amusement park and have an amazing panoramic view over Barcelona. Since Barcelona is really popular among tourists, it usually gets very crowded during the summer. If you want to visit without the crowds, try to plan a trip to Barcelona in the off-season. Since the city is blessed with mild temperatures during winter, it's also one of the best winter sun destinations in Europe if you want to escape the cold. Number 1. Paris, France. Paris is not only one of the most beautiful cities in Europe but it's also one of the most breathtaking dream destinations in the world. You can easily spend their weeks without getting bored but spending four days in Paris is a good start to discovering the best of the city. If you're visiting Paris for the first time, seeing the famous Eiffel Tower must be on your itinerary. No pictures do justice to how incredible the Iron Lady is in real life. Paris is home to many world-class museums and while many people decide to visit the Louvre to see the Mona Lisa, the Musée d'Orsay and the Musée Rodin are also worth exploring. The best things to do in Paris include shopping on the Champs-Élysées, eating countless macarons and croissants, visiting the Sacre Coeur, wandering through the cute streets of Montmartre, and seeing a show at the famous Moulin Rouge. In the city of love, everyone will find their favorite type of activity. So, which is your favorite cities among the top 10 most beautiful cities in Europe? Well, that's all we have for you today. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the content of this video, click the subscribe button so you can receive more content like this. Post your favorite places among the top 10 most beautiful cities in Europe in the comments below. I'd love to read them and I'm sure others would too.